I want to speak in context with you about Jay-Z and Faison Love. Faison responded to the neck and wrist verse. He said it wasn't a diss. And I kind of agree with him. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all might take it a diss, but I don't even think the verse was that um impactful enough to even be considered a diss. Phase on Law responded to Jay-Z recent verse, Pusha T track neck and wrist, in which he addresses Love's past criticism on a Brooklyn rapper. Love had um labeled whole drug dealing history to be fabricated. The phase I'm on, Love, I wouldn't believe it either. Jay-Z rap on the new track, I'd be like, Jay-Z's a cheater. I wouldn't listen to the reason either. Love discusses his reaction to the song during an interview on Vlad TV on Thursday. I didn't get it at first because it wasn't some rap thing. It was not clear, he admitted. First of all, I'm not a rapper. I have no bars at all. I listened to it. It didn't really seem like a diss to me, he added. Back to you. Love, we all love. It's all love now. You know what I'm saying? Think. I think I ruffled some feathers. Love had initially criticized Jay-Z on the Uncensored podcast in 2020. I like Jay-Z. Love said at the time, I like him as a guy and the whole thing he created about fake dope dealing. And that's when I stopped liking him. This end ain't so cocaine in his life. I don't think he ever won a fight. Neck and wrist released on April 6th and featured Jay-Z touching on the death of his legacy, the death of the rap legendary Biggie Smalls. Now, I want to say something. A lot of y'all guys are smart. You, you you all know that half these guys who talk about these drug dealer stories is all fake. Because let's be honest, if you was a real dope dealer like that, you'd be in prison for the rest of your life. That's a fact. Most of the real drug dealers are in prison. Very few people ever slip out. And if that, you, you lose in some other circumstances. I want you to think about it. 